So, in this video, we'll talk about organization of life and complexity of life. In the previous videos, we have talked about um, complete cause on A level classification of living organisms, the diversity of life, the diversity of living organisms. We talk about from kingdom Monera up to the kingdom uh, Animalia and Plantea. So, when we talk about organization of life, is the organization of life refers to the Heretical arrangement of living organisms into level of increasing complexity from cell to tissue to organs and systems While culminating in the interconnected web of ecosystems It composes the structure functional and development aspect of life forms and their interaction within their environment So these are organization of life take a look for example in the human body It consists of cells which come together to form a tissue like muscles or nerve tissues these tissues combine to create organs such as heart or brain. Organs work together to form a system like psychotelic systems or nervous system, digestive system, which turn to collaborate to sustain the overall functionings and health of human body. That is health in the human body. From the tissue, group of tissue form together to form a organs. Those organs form together to form a system and we have an organisms. There may be multicellular, unicellular, there may be any other classification we have talked about, either invertebrate or vertebrate. Its initial step is cells, up to the organs or systems. Then the next we will talk about in the next in this video, that is the four level of organization where we we'll talk about the cell tissue organs. But before that, we will talk about some level of organizations on the initial steps. Level of organizations. A simple definition from the level organization it refers to heretical arrangement of components within a, within a systems indicating different level of complexity and interdependence in context of biology in the context of biology it represents how living organisms are structured and organized okay how living are organized the level of organization in the biology typically include the first one that is atom Molecule, tissue, organs, organ systems, organism, population, community, and ecosystem and biosphere. Each level often builds the previous one, forming a cohesive and interconnected frame of network that composes the diversity and union, unity of life. So, from the atom, there is maybe elements, the molecule like HO, then it forms cells, tissue, organ, system, population, community, and ecosystem, and then biosphere so this is a typical diagram of level of organizations as you can see here it will be start from the atom so while we will talk about the some four level of organizations these are very important we need to understand them well so the first one is the cell level the second one is tissue level but we will talk about it. organization of life is the existence of life form from a single cells that is unicellular which form a complex performing different functions. The first one, as I see, is cell level, tissue level, and also organs level, and also system level. We will discuss them step by step as now in this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But also, it is good to talk about the hierarchy of biological organizations. This we mentioned about it, but they will give you a little more information about the, what we have mentioned previous one. It starts by macrobiology. These are large complex molecules formed by linkage of small units such as protein, nucleus, and carbohydrate or lipids. They increase by increasing in complexity. Then the next one is organelle. These are membrane bounding organelles that perform specific functions in the cells, like nucleus, mitochondria. Cell. These are the structural and functional units of living organisms capable of carrying out essential processes of life such as metabolism, growth, reproduction, and responding to their environment. That is cells. The tissues. Tissue is a group of special cells of the same that work together to perform a particular functions in the body. This function, these cells, this tissue include muscle tissue, connective tissues, and nervous tissues. Others. The structure composed of different types of Tissues that work together to perform specific functions in the body, such as heart, lungs, brain, and etc. Organs have defined shape and perform a complex that critical for overall physiological process. System, a group of organs, tissues that work together to perform a particular functions or set of functions in the body. Examples include circulatory system, respiratory, and digestive, and etc. Organisms, individual living organisms. 
possess the characteristics of life, including growth, reproduction, response to smelly, metabolism, and etc. Single cells are called unicellular, while multiple are called multicellular. These organisms are example bacteria. This example of unicellular is maybe bacteria, protista, example of multicellular is fungi, plant and animal, etc. Each organism has a self-contained unit with unique genetic makeup and the ability to interact with their environment. So these are the hierarchical biological organisms. It increases as in increasing the complexity from micromolecule as I mentioned from the atom. Micromolecule is maybe a group of molecules, then organelle, cells, tissue, organ system, and the organisms itself. We have mentioned about it. This is just a brief explanation, it allowed for you to understand it more. So then we will talk about the four level we start discussing in the cell level. The cell level. The cell is a functional and structural unit of a life, which are bounded by cell membrane containing nucleus and cytoplasm. This is also known as protoplasm of the cell. Therefore, we can see protoplasm is equal to nucleus plus cytoplasm. Nucleus is equal to protoplasm minus cytoplasm. How we get it? Cytoplasm is equal to protoplasm minus nucleus. So let me show you the difference between protoplasm in living organ of a cell. Is, is a, let me see. Hence, protoplasm is a, is a small living of a cell. Small cells are capable of independent existence and carry out live activities in the cells. Example, amoeba, paramecium, euglena, calamidominans, which are including in the organelle. So these are the typical examples of nucleus, cytoplasm, and protoplasm. Overview and example of cells with their functions. Tau. So we talk about some examples of cells and their functions. The first one is cell number, types of cells, and the function. Red blood cell. It transports oxygen around the body and contains hemoglobin, which combined with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin, not TD hemoglobin, oxyhemoglobin. So it is a mistake. Then white blood cell. It protects the body against diseases. All that kind of disease that will affect our body. Then there is a nerve cells. They transmit impulse. That is transport impulse. Then there is an epidermis cell. They protect the body against infection, germ, and dehydration. That is epidermal cells. Then the sperm cell, they are used for the production and fertilizations as egg. And also there is a egg that are used for the production. Also, these are the female reproductive organs. And also there is a muscle cells. A cell that form a muscles are used for movement. And also the last one we have, that is a bone cells. They are form the bone and bones used for body support. So these are the typical example of cells and their functions. Then we will talk about some example that is you can see visually in the human body, the cells that we found in the human body, as we mentioned below. These are bone cells, red and white blood cells, motor neurosin, intense system, oven and sperm. This oven is called egg. We can call it egg cells. So these are the various and many, many different kinds of cells in the human body, both plant and animal. Then we will talk about the tissue level. The tissue level it's a collection of cells that are similar in the structure and perform a similar functions. Example of animal that exists in tissue is hydra. You have to take a note of this. The tissue have the same origin and occupy the same position in the body organisms. Types of tissue in man and their functions. Number one, if a tissue tissue, they align and protect the body surface. High information of skin. Then blood tissue. They transport blood and oxygen, not food. That is blood and oxygen. Then so there is a skeletal tissue. How they support the body and hide the movement. That is movement, skeletal tissues, connective tissues, they bind other tissues together. Nerve tissues are coordinate and transmits impulse. Moses tissue, that is the last one, used for movement of the body. These are the examples of tissue that are mostly in man and there are many, many tissues. And also we talk about types of tissue in plants and their functions. We have, for example, there is a vascular tissue used to transport food and water in a plant. The phylum manufactures food from leaves to other parts of the body by process called translocation. By xylem, transport water and mineral from the roots out to the lips. Strengthen tissue, they support and strengthen the plant body. This includes calarancama, selenancama, so that was my mistake, and also perancama. Photosynthetic tissues, this is used for manufacturing of food. 
a petition, a petition, a, sorry, my, for my pronunciation, epithelial tissues, they line and protect the plant surface. Then also the last one that is a packaging tissues. The surface provides cells for new cells which are used for storage. So these are the types of tissues and plant and their functions. Then the next one we'll talk about is example and our view so that you can see them physically. There's a connective tissue, how it is look, epithelial tissue, Moses tissue and others. So now let's take a look on the some example of tissues and plants overview. There is epidermis, spermatophyta that is called dermal tissues. Pelarenchyma, cholarenchyma, selenchyma. These are strengthening ground tissues, strengthening tissues. And there is foilin and voilun, xylem and voilun. These are vascular tissues. Then we will talk about the organs level. Organ level. Organ is a collection of different tissues that perform different functions. Some organs perform only functions, only one function. Example of half, while organs, some organs perform many functions like kidney. Example are liver. Example of organs are liver, heart, and implant that's onion bulb. So look at this. This is a typical example of organs. Like I say, heart perform only single functions, like a kidney perform many functions. There's a liver, um, also there's a um, pancreas, intestine, reproductive organs, brain, also thyroid, there's a thyroid gland, and also there's heart, stomach, and also there's a lot of different organs in the human body, like a bladder, and also there is a um, lungs, as I mentioned. So these are typical um, human body organs. Then the last one is system level. Is a collection of different organs that perform a functions, example, exercise systems and others. The first example of systems are cardiovascular systems, digestive system, when you eat a food, how it will digest, and also there's an endocrine system that will respond that send a signal in your body, and also there is a um, muscles, muscular tissues, muscular systems, how your muscles is connected, the system of your connected. There's a nervous systems. Reproductive system, how you can reproduce, and respiratory system, how you can respirate, inhale, and exhale. And also, there's a skeletal systems. And also, these are the main examples of systems in the body. As you can see it here in many cardiovascular system, endocrine, and all those things. So, all we come. So, thank you so much for watching. All we come at the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. You can also check our these cool videos do have an SD. Bye.